everyone and welcome to my channel. This pick a card reading is going to take a look at your person, could be friend, a family member, a love interest, and we're basically going to take a look at what is it that they regret not saying. So what is it that they regret not being able to say or never got a chance to say. So if you have not as of yet chosen a card on the table, go ahead and do that now. There are timestamps down below where you can get a better look at the cards up close and personal via a picture clip and a video clip as well. There is meditation music that I place there so that way you can get into the zone and kind of ease your way into choosing. And if during your selection process, perhaps you need more time, I would suggest maybe pausing the screen and let's say also if during your selection process you also feel led to pick more than one card, by all means pick more than one if you feel it necessary. Pause on the screen in order to give yourself more time to choose as well. Do what you feel is necessary so that way you're in touch and in tune with your selection before you proceed to your reading. These readings are also timeless, so whether you watch it at the upload time or sometime later down the road, basically whenever it's placed into your awareness and you feel an intuitive nudge to watch, there may indeed be a message here for you. Nonetheless, what I always say is that these readings are general. I can't possibly expect to connect with the many of you that watch, although I hope you manage to find a message here. Uh, but what I recommend is maybe... Let's say if this particular reading doesn't connect for you, have some fun perhaps exploring my channel. I have so many different readings that I do. Uh, pick a card readings, daily tarot and oracle readings for everyone. I even have timeless zodiac sign readings that are up as well if you feel like exploring that. So there could be some other message in the mix for you that has a better connection for you instead. And let's say you and I maybe aren't vibing that way. Perhaps we're not connecting. That is totally okay. Um, I set the intention that when you leave my channel that you will find the messages that you need to confirm your journey at this time because that's how the magic works and I trust that the magic will guide you to the right messages that you need and always lead you right and true. So with all that being said star family I will go ahead and leave you here and I will meet you at your reading of choice. Pile number one, viewers, you chose the spaceship for your card. This card does have meaning, and I did shuffle for all of them that you choose from. So I will be sure to incorporate this into the reading as I get tarot on the table. So we are looking at what is it that your person, whether it be a friend, a family member, a love interest, what is it that they regret not saying? Maybe something they never got a chance to say. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the Morgan Greer Tarot. And I just, I should probably check to make sure I don't have the whole thing upside down. Bear with me one second. Um, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> so I have the Morgan Greer Tarot. This is like an oldie but a goodie. And we're looking at what is it that they regret not saying. Maybe something they never got a chance to say. Your person, pile number one viewers, what do they regret? not saying so we have one card there let's see if we get at least two more on the table okay one more okay let's see so we have the eight of cups the seven of cups and the six of swords whoa um crazy because this actually these cards very well tie into the meaning of the spaceship and I feel like I should just go right into it to give you context, right? The spaceship itself talks about a journey. And we actually have two cards of journeying right here. One with the Eight of Cups and one with the Six of Swords. And what this is saying is that they were confused. That's what they never got a chance to say. And it feels like they left. They, they were on a personal journey on their you know in their own life and it feels like they were confused they were experiencing things and they didn't know what to decide or what to do or how to go about it and they the feeling is here they regret leaving the way that they did because it seems like it just confused the situation even more maybe for you also for them but I feel like the fact that they left the way that they did, if, if that is the case, or they kind of, I, I'm hearing open-ended, okay? They left it just open-ended. They, they gave no closure, the feeling is. Um, 
what that was was a catalyst it created a catalyst for either your or their growth in some way it put them possibly even you on a journey and what they regret is all the confusion with the seven of cups surrounding the situation and maybe the confusion that they caused you and the feeling is here they regret the confusion that they caused at the time that everything was going on and they regret not being able to explain the confusion that they felt or what they were experiencing at the time. They regret also not telling you that they were going through something in their life at that moment. I do feel like, because technically we have two sevens on the table, right? We have the seven of cups and we also have three plus four or seven. Um, they regret not telling you what they were going through. They regret not saying that they, you know, not telling you or being honest with you about them being on a personal journey. That they were going through some really tough healing. And that they were perhaps experiencing an awakening that had them kind of ungrounded at the time. So they, there wasn't anything that they could do that maybe was consistent or solid for you at the time because they weren't feeling solid and consistent themselves, it, it seems, with these cards. And that's coming from the Seven of Cups because the Seven of Cups is an energy that's very much up in the air. Yes, can leave things open-ended without resolve. It can leave things not feeling like there's any solidity or solid ground. It's also an energy where there's choices and being overwhelmed by what to do. And the feeling is here they regret not saying how overwhelmed they felt by the situation that they were in on a personal level or the extent of their emotions that they felt for you at the time. Seven of Cups, right? Because there's there's a feeling of so many things. Being overwhelmed by emotion about what you know what's going on in life and feeling the need to just kind of throw their hands up is the feeling here as well. So they regret not explaining the extent of confusion or overwhelming emotions that they had for you or the confusion of the situation at hand. However, what I do feel, like I said from the beginning, is that this connection or whatever it was that you experienced with them and them with you, yeah, there was a lot of confusion surrounding it, Maybe it was up in the air most of the time. Maybe there was no solid ground. Perhaps they didn't know how they fully felt. But whatever it was, the encounter itself, it created a catalyst for their growth. And it put them on a journey to self-discovery with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is an energy of leaving something behind. Oftentimes, whenever you leave something behind, um, it puts you on a soul-searching journey. It could be that they didn't feel that they had the full, like, Ten of Cups feeling at the time when they were with you with the Eight of Cups. Because oftentimes when you have an Eight of Cups situation, it's not giving you the full picture of what you want or there's some they feel like there's something missing. So you end up going in search of what you feel is missing. And it could be it had maybe nothing to do with you, but there was something missing within themselves. And they had to go on that journey to find themselves. Because it's like, how could they create something, especially if it was love, right? If it was a love or a romantic situation. How could they create a full experience with you if they were missing something in themselves? And it, it could be that they didn't know how to articulate that. Or maybe they didn't, they didn't know how to make themselves clear in that way and their emotions with the seven of cups might have been all over the place and completely ungrounded therefore how could they offer you anything solid if they weren't feeling solid within themselves is a the feeling here and it's like at the time they couldn't explain that they couldn't articulate that or make themselves clear but they had to take a journey and the only way that they can heal grow learn and find themselves was if they kind of removed themselves from the situation walked away in order to take that journey to learn to discover themselves again spaceship is all about taking a journey and self and discovery self-discovery along with the eight of cups that's why i was saying it's like it, it's pretty much connected here but 
in them parting ways, it feels like, because the Eight of Cups is an energy that leaves, so does the Six of Cups, or I'm sorry, Six of Swords. Whoa, I said Six of Cups, so maybe this was a soulmate, because that was like a Ferudian slip, right? Um, maybe it was a soulmate energy, kindred spirit energy as well. Anyhow, the Six of Swords is an energy that goes off and heals. It separates itself from people, places, and things um, in order to try to find their peace of mind. And it kind of feels like they didn't know what they wanted. And that's what they regret not saying and being honest about that. The feeling is here. They had no idea what they were doing with their own life. So it's like, how could they even figure out how to make anything solid with you or be consistent with you if they had no idea what they were they wanted in their own journey but they had to go out and find that and it does feel like that's what they that's why they left and the feeling is also here it wasn't anything personal it was more or less like feeling as I wasn't whole within myself so I couldn't offer what you were seeking because I lack that within myself. So I had to take the journey to heal, to discover myself, part ways, put distance between us in order to figure that out, in order to kind of understand what I was feeling, what I was experiencing, and where life was taking me. That's the feeling here. And it looks like they may have, or they are probably still continuing that healing journey. And remember when I mentioned the sevens, I, I think I totally forgot to mention that part. The seven talks about personal growth. It talks about spiritual growth as well as a number energy. And we do have two on the table. So that's why I really strongly feel that they regret not telling you that they were on a journey. They, were, they needed to take this journey. They needed to figure themselves out. They were confused and all of that. And it, it, was, it does feel like it wasn't personal. It was all about them. It was all about their need to kind of figure themselves out. And it, in all honesty, it kind of still feels like that's what they're doing. This person also with the spaceship energy could have been long distance. And the distance also played a role or played a part in maybe the, the way things kind of went the way that they went. There is probably, with these cards on this table, still distance at this time between you. But just know, um, not that it's any consolation or anything, but just know that this person is, is still, it feels like, experiencing an awakening, some kind of growth, some kind of healing journey. I really do think that you were the catalyst to wake this up inside of them. So in a sense, the the experience or the connection that you had with them was not in vain because it, it set something off for them. And it put them on a journey to figure themselves out and also to heal something that was kind of like broken or missing in their life. Okay, so this is what I have for you. Pile number one viewers, uh, if you feel like this has helped you in some way, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe also to support this channel. And if you want to take it a step further to support what I do here, uh, please visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there that I make by hand on my free time, including other things. I also have powerful tech-type crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass if you're into that. Um, so pay me a visit at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number two viewers, you chose the Zombies card for your reading. I did shuffle for these cards. They do have meaning, so I'm going to incorporate them into the reading once I get some tarot on the table. What we're looking at is what is it that your person, whether it be friend, family member, love interest, regrets not saying maybe something they never got a chance to say to you, something that they wish they maybe would have had a chance to say or explain. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the Morgan Greer Tarot for you today is what I'll be using. So we're going to grab three cards to find out pile number two viewers. What is it that your person regrets not getting the chance to say? 
maybe something they wish they could have said or explained to you in some way. Let's see, pile number two. One, two, and three. Let's see here. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is actually kind of positive, but the zombie's energy is kind of throwing me off a bit because the zombie energy itself, right, does talk about troubles, okay, having things that they have to sort out. It could talk about having troubles in the family, okay, or in your life um, where things are kind of complicated, right? It also can talk, talk about having demons from the past and things that you struggle to overcome, okay? And all of these things play an influence in your life and the way that certain scenarios and circumstances play out. And this is kind of telling me that they never got a chance to maybe say that to you, that they were going through issues and maybe in their home life, in their family life, maybe in their journey in general. And this was kind of like playing an influence on the connection. It took a toll on the connection. And maybe it was personal to them. They didn't feel like they could explain because it was very much tied into their home life with this. This card, oddly enough, talks about uh, your home not feeling 100% safe or secure, okay? So it could be that their personal life wasn't feeling very secure or they were not in a very safe, secure time or place in their life at the time. The Six of Wands, though, is a card of victory, triumph over an obstacle. So the feeling is here that they were trying to overcome these things and it could be that right now in the journey if you're wondering how they're doing where they're at this is telling me that they've triumphed over the adversity that they were perhaps experiencing at the time of your connection those you know like figurative zombies or demons that they had going on in their life that actually played a strong influence at the time and it does feel like it was kind of a a bad timing situation what they never got a chance to say or they regret not saying is that that they were experiencing so much at the time and it it took a toll on the connection they were trying to forge with you now the six of wands also is an energy of like success right so is the queen of wands very successful i don't know if you were the queen of wands in their life maybe they were the queen of wands to you but it's leo aries sagittarius energy and this is also indicating to me that you gave them high vibes or they felt high vibe energy towards you you were maybe sharing that with them you were helping lift them up in some way the feeling is here or they were trying to lift themselves up you played an influence in them trying to lift their vibe up it feels like because the six of pentacles is here and the six of pentacles does talk about energy exchange right so it kind of feels like you were giving them this positive energy this positive feedback maybe you were trying to give them an encouraging word or show them that they were important or special or worthy but the feeling here is with the zombies energy they struggled maybe to see that in themselves they weren't recognizing their value in some way but it does feel like you were sharing or generous with your energy towards them you were very giving and you were trying to show them their value but the feeling is here that part of them couldn't see it. They, they didn't see their own worth. They didn't realize how special or important they were in some way. And it took them trying to overcome them their demons to try to realize that. And also the feeling is here they didn't understand your value either at the time. Or they weren't seeing it for what it was. Because a lot of influences in their life with the zombies card was kind of like creating or casting a shadow over that and it's like they had the blinders on and they were more focused about their own shit basically um than the beauty and the charisma and the positivity surrounding them in front of them through you i hope i hope that makes sense because the queen of wands is high vibe energy right she shines she has a symbol of the sun with the sun flower so the feeling is here for some of you watching, 
you were shining a really bright light on them. You were helping to try to lift them up in a positive way through your energy exchange or through your connection. But it kind of feels like they weren't quite grasping that or seeing that for what it was at the time. And that's what they regret not seeing even. And also, as of now, not saying or not realizing. Okay. Part of me feels like there was a lack of reciprocity as well because of the zombie energy that they were dealing with. Again, their home life could have been an influence. Demons from the past, okay, a lot of shadow work maybe that they had yet to undergo or a lot of shadow energy influencing their connection with you. They were trying to overcome obstacles. I feel like now they have because we have all this lovely energy on the table. But at the time, with the zombies energy, they had a you know, negative influences surrounding them. Um, they couldn't see the forest through the trees, if you know what I mean. And their situation wasn't very secure. Their home life, their personal life wasn't very secure at that time. So it kind of feels like a, a little bit of whatever positive energy you were or beacon of light that you were in their world, it was sort of lost on them. Not that it didn't help, Okay, because whenever you're sharing light with somebody, they are they are receiving it. But it could be that they aren't ready to open their eyes to it. It's not that they're not receiving it because energetically they are, but their awareness isn't there to recognize it at the time. But it's not that your energy was wasted or lost on them because on some vibrational level, they did receive it, whether their conscious self was able to recognize it for what it was. Again, I hope that makes sense. Um, there was a lot of like giving energy here. So you might have been giving and giving and giving. You know, only you would be able to know if you received anything in return. But the thing is, is that looking back on it now, the feeling is here. What they regret is that they weren't able to give you as much as you were giving them. Like you were beacon of light. They were going through their shit. They didn't recognize the light and the beauty that you were sharing to be a positive vibration in their life. They didn't recognize it for that at the time. And they do regret not seeing your light for what it was. Because Queen of Wands has a beautiful energy surrounding her. High vibe. And it's like whatever she touches she brings to life. So looking back on it, the feeling is they see that now, they recognize that now. They understand what you were giving them, what you were, you know, what you were trying to, a, a feeling is here, um, gift them with or plant the seed in them with. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so it's kind of like this feeling of like you planting a seed in them. They didn't see that for what it was. You were actually doing that just with your presence, just for simply existing around them. But they were going through their shadow. Um, the feeling is here. I regret not seeing that in you. I regret not being able to give as much as you were giving to me. I, re I regret not being able to overcome these things that I was experiencing at the time. I regret not um, valuing you. I regret not seeing your value at the time. I was trying to find balance. I was trying to balance my light and my shadow. Uh, the feeling is here, I was doing a piss poor job of it. I'm, I'm doing better at it now. I'm trying to overcome my obstacles now and you were an influence, whether you realize it or not, the feeling is here, you were an influence on my journey as I was going through a really tough time. I regret not seeing that for what it was at the time. 
but you were a positive energy in their journey at a time where with this card they were going through a lot. That's the thing, like, if somebody... There's a lot of room for trigger when somebody hasn't actually taken the journey to do their shadow work. And it's like nobody could do that or take that journey for them. It's something that they have to figure out on their own, right? Um, but it does feel like that was it was just a matter of bad timing because had they healed that aspect of themselves or had they resolved those issues that they were dealing with in their circumstance or in their physical world um they would have had more energy to give they would have been at a better place to be able to give what it was that you were giving them and they acknowledged that they they weren't giving what they could have given they weren't reciprocating a hundred percent at the time that's what they regret so this is what I have for you, pile number two viewers. If you feel that this reading has helped and connected for you in some way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel if you want to take it a step further to support what I do here on YouTube. By all means, visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there, amongst other things that I create by hand on my free time. I even have powerful tech type crystals like Moldavite and the Bean Desert Glass, if that is something that you're interested in. So much love wherever you are. Take care of yourself and always keep shining. Pile number three viewers, you chose the cat's card for your reading. This card does have meaning and I will be sure to incorporate it into the reading as I get tarot on the table. So what we're looking at today is what is it that your person never got a chance to say, maybe something they regret not telling you, maybe something they didn't realize till it was too late. So I have the Morgan Greer Tarot for you is what I'll be using, an oldie buddy goodie, which I like so much. Uh, but let's see, what is it that your person, pile number three viewers, regrets not saying, maybe something they didn't realize until it was too late. What is it that they never got a chance to say? Whoa, okay, so we have the Five of Swords. There, one more. All right, so we have the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, and we have the High Priestess. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it real. This is not very pleasant, and I will, I will be honest, like, seriously, this, not, this doesn't feel good, okay? And that's just me picking up on the energy of the cards, and also because that cat's card and the seven of swords it's just not a happy it's not a good combination to me okay um the cat's card does talk about treacherous right treachery and sly energy it talks about someone's vibe like where they are pretending to be something that they're not so there's something that they were completely not honest about. They could have been pretending to be a friend and actually not a friend, pretending to be interested and really not interested. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's this feeling of a facade, putting up a facade. And we do have the Seven of Swords, which can talk about not being honest. It could talk about treachery, theft you know in a negative shadow aspect certainly it could talk about these very not so nice traits okay it could talk about also ghosting so i don't know if this person ghosted you i don't know if they were catfishing okay with this card i i don't know but that's why i'm saying it doesn't feel good so i have to just be upfront and honest about that it doesn't feel good um it is kind of an icky feeling and as a reader you know what i mean i uh, it's hard for me to, to sugarcoat that shit. Um, so I don't like, to be honest, can I say that I don't like this person's energy? They were hiding something with the high priestess because the high priestess also um, is a secret. She's She hides things. She doesn't reveal the truth all the time until the appropriate time, you know? And it's not that the high priestess's energy is negative because she's not. She's beautiful. 
she's she's divine energy in a sense that she doesn't reveal something until the appropriate divine time and it's all revealed in spirit okay so that's the energy of the high priestess however when we're looking at the other cards on the table right this person was keeping a secret and they weren't revealing their truth whenever spirit chooses not to reveal something to you it's to oftentimes to protect you you see but i don't feel like that was the case from this person whatever they were hiding it wasn't trying to protect you it was trying to keep something not nice from you because they had a secret that wasn't pleasant they were hiding something not so nice something not nefarious in a way they were i feel like they were hiding a part of their true self or their true identity but it's also giving me the feeling that intuitively with the high priestess you might have been picking up on their vibe you might have been picking up that they were lying about something or hiding something from them whoa i don't this is really strange um Just know that all things get revealed in good time. And that's, again, again the energy of the high priestess that's coming through. So that you can't hide the truth. Some way, somehow, the divine will reveal the truth at the appropriate time, oftentimes through spiritual psychic awareness, intuitive dreaming. Okay, that's the beauty of the high priestess. She reveals her secrets at the right time. This person was hiding a secret and they were hiding it purposefully and it was something unpleasant the five of swords is telling me that there could have been other people in the situation maybe a three-party situation it could be that that's what they were hiding sometimes a high priestess can talk about the hidden woman or the hidden other person and there's three people in this card so i don't know if your person had somebody else And I'm going to be honest here. I don't think this person regrets anything. That's the icky part about it. I think they were hiding something from you. A part of their identity from you. They were not being honest about what they were up to. What they were doing. Who they really were. What they really were about. They weren't. They weren't there. For you and you needed them most the feeling is here with the cat's card they hid from you when you could have used a friend or they kept kept themselves away when you were going through something in your journey they probably ghosted you at a really bad time they left they kind of walked away and they hid themselves They were friend, they were pretending to be a friend, but they weren't really a friend, or they were pretending to be somebody that they weren't. And intuitively, again, you might have sensed something was off about this person. And you weren't wrong, because the high priestess is here. And maybe, maybe this reading is the confirmation that you needed, you know, as unpleasant as this feels. Um, maybe this is the reading. That you needed to confirm to you that this person wasn't who they said they were or they weren't being honest about who they really were what they really up to or what their status was even seven of swords can talk about cheating it talk about like tiptoeing around situations so i don't know if this person also like whenever you would confront them or ask them about something especially with the five of swords five of swords can talk about confrontation sometimes and Oftentimes, the need to cut your losses from a situation that's not working. So I don't know if you cut them off because, again, if they weren't being honest whenever you confronted with them, if they tiptoed around the subject, whenever you did confront them, it would make it very hard to try to uncover, discover, or reveal who they are or even get to learn about who they are. 
They would avoid. Seven of Swords can talk about avoidance. Seven of Swords can also talk about the imposter, especially on a shadow aspect, right? And these cards are very shadow aspected. The only one that doesn't feel shadow so much is the High Priestess because, again, she's goddess. She's connected to divine. She's connected to the divine intelligence within us that reveals all things at their appropriate time. This person probably, if they have any regret, okay, it doesn't really feel like they do. But if they have any regret, it's perhaps not revealing their, their true nature when it came to their identity. Like, part of them wishes they could have revealed who they really were and been honest about that. Maybe it could have changed something. Maybe it could have saved something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm... Yeah, I part of them it's just it just wouldn't they wouldn't All right, th this person had was okay. This person had two faces, okay? On one part, they kind of wish they could have revealed themselves truly and been honest about that. But the feeling is here no matter what they did, they were going to they were going to lose you in some form or capacity. So it was a no, the feeling is here, it was a no-win situation. And rather than tell the truth or expose the truth and expose themselves and lose you either way, they just decided to cut their losses and kind of like walk away, ghost, abandon the situation because there was no way they were going to be able to survive the response, the reaction, um, and the aftermath of being discovered. Part of me, you know what, part of me wants to grab another tarot card, okay? Um, just because. Right. It's like a small fraction, look at that, a three-party situation. Three of Cups. I don't know if this person also, again, was your friend because some, sometimes the Three of Cups can talk about friendship. Um, but the friendship wasn't, again, honest. It's not an honest friendship. It's a friend who's pretending to be a friend when they're really not. Okay. And then we have, you know, that's the Cat's card, by the way. Um, and yes, the Three of Cups can talk about friendship. So I, ho I hope I made that clear. I didn't want to confuse anybody. The friend who's not being a friend truly is the cat's card. The Three of Cups itself can talk about friendship. And it can also talk when their shadow aspects did cards on the table. It can talk about a three-party situation. We do have the Seven of Swords, which can talk about treachery, cheating, um, tiptoeing around, right? Sneaking around, doing things sometimes, you know, obviously that you shouldn't. Um... And then we have the Three of Cups. It kind of confirms what I was thinking earlier. Again, the fact that there was three people in this card that I mentioned. So, yeah, this was a friend who wasn't really a friend. This was somebody who was pretending some, to be something that they weren't. They could have had someone else in their life. They weren't revealing that. They could have been catfishing. They could have been pretending, you know, an, an identity that wasn't really theirs. And the feeling is here... They, you know, like the small itty bitty, like 1% regret that they have wishes they could have came out with the truth. But either way, no matter what way they went about it, they were going to lose you in the situation. And they weren't, nobody, no, everybody was going to walk away hurt no matter what is the feeling here. So there were definitely multiple people, I feel, involved in this situation. Somebody was a secret but I also feel that the High Priestess might have been giving you hints and clues like your own High Priestess energy. 
might have been giving you hints and clues about this on an intuitive level. Like you, you might have just, like I said, felt something was off, something wasn't right, your spidey senses were tingling, if you know what I mean, about the whole thing. And again, perhaps this reading is just that confirmation that you needed that your intuition was right all along. What this is also telling me is that if this person walked away from you, they might have also have done you a favor in the sense that like rejection is God's protection in this sense, especially with the energies I see on the table. So this is what I have for you, pile number three viewers. Um, if you feel that this has helped and connected for you in some way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. If you want to take it a step further to support what I do here, please visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there, amongst other things that I create by hand on my free time. I even have tech type crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass, if that is something that interests you. So much love to you wherever you are. Be safe, be well, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number four viewers, this is your card. There is a message associated to this card and I will be sure to incorporate the meaning into the reading as I get more cards in the table. We're gonna start with the Morgan Greer Tarot. This is an oldie but a goodie and we're gonna find out what is it that your person never got a chance to say, maybe something they regret saying, maybe something that they didn't even realize until it was too late, okay? So let's take a look. Pile number four, viewers. What is that they regret not saying? Something they didn't realize, perhaps. Something they never got a chance to say. Okay. All right, so wow, that was the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so, wow. I mean, the Ten of Swords feels kind of rough, right? It, it feels like there was an ending, maybe a conclusion in the relationship that was very devastating and or heartbreaking for some of you. Um, the feeling is here that it hurt them too. It hurt them too. I, again, three of pentacles. I don't know if this was like, oddly enough, like it feels like this could have been somebody you used to work with. Okay. Uh, somebody who maybe was in your everyday environment that way. Somebody who you had a close connection with or like that you thought you were friends or you were a team. Could have been a three-party situation as well. Um, but there was something really heartbreaking in the connection with the Ten of Swords. I don't know if there was a betrayal of some kind. The feeling is that they regret that. They regret the pain that they caused. Um, and all of the, the feeling is instability that took place between you. Queen of Pentacles is a beautiful energy, obviously Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, very stable, secure, nurturing, loving energy. And the feeling is here that they regret not investing in you because you, you were that. You were that loving, nurturing, stable, secure energy to them or you demonstrated that to them. And the feeling with the Three of Pentacles is they they regret or realize later too late after the fact that they should have invested in you. I don't know if they broke up with you or if they distanced themselves in some way, but they should have invested in you. And it's like, it's too late now or they realize that they missed out on that opportunity in some way when the relationship ended. It's almost like hindsight 2020 the rider energy talks about a journey okay it talks about moving forward trying to reach a goal okay find your way as well with the little compass there and it can talk about plans in motion making plans changing a plan or switching something up in some way and moving with that trajectory so part of me feels like with the Ten of Swords that maybe they, they didn't get a chance to, again, invest further into the relationship and perhaps see where it could go. 
Maybe they made plans but didn't follow through with them in some way. Or they regret not following through with the plans that they had made when it came to the connection or the relationship. Because again, this is, the writer energy is, is pretty positive in a sense that it takes steps in the direction of a goal, in the direction of something that it wants. But if we have the Ten of Swords on the table, it's kind of saying that all came to a halt, that all came to a stall or a close or it finished or it never got a chance to kind of progress further. Ten of Swords is giving the energy of maybe a, a separation, a breakup, a betrayal, and an instability, and not being able to build further beyond what was with the Three of Pentacles. Again, the re what they realized late after the fact is that you were worth investing in. You were someone they could have depended on that you were reliable as a queen of pentacles is super stable grounded energy they could have built something with you they could have had something more with you they could have went further with you they could have grown with you teamwork makes the dream work with the three of pentacles so it's like also this feeling of you could have created something together because it's a number three. But something went wrong here and they regret what went wrong that prevented them from building further or for, from going further with you. Uh, the feeling is here, they, they, sh they regret not taking steps, the appropriate steps or the right action when it came to you. Also, because the writer card can talk about a journey. I don't know if, you know, maybe distance is what caused a lot of issues. If there was physical distance, right? Because we do have, we do have a map here. We have a luggage compass. You see what I'm saying? So if there was physical geographical distance, that could have played an issue as to why they felt they couldn't invest or why that, you know, maybe there was a breakup or what created the struggle what they realized after the fact though is that you were the feeling is you were the one worth investing in you were the one they could have grow grew with you were the one that they could have built something with and went further with And that's what they they wish they would have got a chance to say as well. That you were all those things that really that they were looking for. You were that solid, stable, secure, nurturing, loving person. You were reliable. They could depend on you. You were always there. You were maybe even always available. They wish they could have had more. Maybe they regret the way that it went down with the Ten of Swords. And how that hurt you, how it hurt them. I think I think this is telling me right here, this is saying that it was painful for them too. It was painful for them. But something happened with the Ten of Swords to put you both on your own path or kind of like create a different trajectory in the relationship. In some way. And it, it feels like it's it it diverted your your paths in one way or another. But looking back on it, they realize that you were you were worth you were worth the effort that maybe they struggled to put into it. Something changed. The Rider card talks about change in trajectory. Something shifted, something changed. And it kind of steered them away from you or you away from them. But looking back, had things been different, you were the one that they would have invested in to build something more.
with. So pile number four, this is what I have for you. If you feel that this reading has connected for you in some way or another, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. If you want to take it a step further to support what I do here, please visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit at any time. I have handmade crystal jewelry there that I make and create by hand on my free time. I even have powerful tectite crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass if you're into that. Uh, so pay me a visit whenever you get a chance. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining.